leaves. Two men were cleaning Gordon. Mind my eye, Gordon grumbled. Shoot it, silly! Did you ever see such mud, Bert? No, I never, Alf. You sure ought to be ashamed, Gordon, giving us extra work. The hosing and scrubbing stopped. Gordon opened one eye, but shut it quickly. Wake up, Gordon, said the fat controller sternly, and listen to me. You will pull no more coaches till you are a really useful engine. So Gordon had to spend his time pulling trucks. Good trains, good trains, he muttered. He felt his position deeply. That's for you, and you, and you, Gordon said crossly. <coughs> Screamed the trucks as he shunted them about the yard. Trucks will be trucks, said James, watching him. They won't with me, snorted Gordon. I'll teach them. Go on, and another truck scurried away. They tried to push me down the hill this morning, Gordon explained. It's slippery there. You'll probably need some help. I don't need any help on hills, said James huffily. Gordon laughed and got ready for his next train. James went away to take the express. Slippery hills indeed, he snorted. I don't need help. Come on, come on, he puffed. All in good time, all in good time, grumbled the coaches. The train was soon running nicely, but a distant signal checked them close to Gordon's Hill. Gordon's Hill used to be bleak and bare. Strong winds from the sea made it hard to climb. Trees were planted to give shelter, and in summer the trains run through a leafy avenue. Now autumn had come, and dead leaves fell. The wind usually puffed them away, but today rain made them heavy and they did not move. The home signal showed clear, and James began to go faster. He started to climb the hill. I'll do it, I'll do it, he puffed confidently. Halfway up, he was not so sure. I must do it, I must do it, he panted desperately. But try as he would, his wheels slipped on the leaves, and he couldn't pull the train at all. What's the matter? What's the matter? He gasped. Steady, old boy, steady, soothed his driver. His fireman put sand on the rails to help him grip, but James's wheels spun so fast that they only ground the sand and leaves to slippery mud, making things worse than before. The train slowly stopped. Then... Help! 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 whistled James, for though his wheels were turning forwards, the heavy coaches pulled him backwards, and the whole train started slipping down the hill. His driver shut off steam, carefully put on the brakes, and skillfully stopped the train. Phew! He sat down and mopped his face. I've never known that happened before. I have, said the fireman, in Bean Cobby Tunnel, Southern Region. The guard poked his head in the cab. Now what? he asked. Back to the station, said the fireman taking charge, and send for a banker. So the guard warned the signalman, and they brought the train safely down. But Gordon, who had followed with a goods train, saw what had happened. Gordon left his trucks and crossed over to James. I thought you could climb hills, he chuckled. James didn't answer. He had no steam. Ah, well, we live and learn, said Gordon. We live and learn. Never mind, little James, he went on kindly. I'm going to push behind. Whistle when you're ready. James waited till he had plenty of steam. Then, peep, peep, he called. Poop, poop, poop. Pull hard, puffed Gordon. We'll do it, puffed James. Pull, Pull hard, hard, we'll, we'll do, do it. it. The engines puffed together. Clouds of smoke and steam towered from the snorting engines as they struggled up the hill. We can do it, puffed James. We will do it, puffed Gordon. The greasy rails sometimes made Gordon's wheels slip, but he never gave up, and presently they reached the top. We've, we've done, done it. it, we've, we've done, done it. it. They puffed. Gordon stopped. Poop, poop, he whistled. 
Goodbye. Peep, 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 peep. Thank you. Goodbye, answered James. Gordon watched the coaches wistfully till they were out of sight. Then slowly, he trundled back to his waiting trucks.